I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Suna. Lovely. Working together is already opening door for us. Uh, is he always making puns like that? We're blocked by more vines. Remember what to do? Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir have been hostile for ages. 
Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freyr was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freyr up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Ah, but enough of that for now. tell of Freyr being burned by the Aesir mob. Well, obviously he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. Mm -hmm. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freyr certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but... I do understand where his anger came from. Ah, you found some of my armor! I'll fix it up for you real good! I'm sure to get you find my orb, though. I am doing this for free and whatnot. Lunda's orb. Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her. Don't ya? Right. Business time. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elsa's been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, I uh, actually, any dwarf can. I just didn't think you'd get my orb for me if you knew that. Sorry, y'all. Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. That's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. And how is it you two know each other? Nah, I can't be divulger in guild business. You gotta respect the secretude of it all. I'm sorry? Let's just say Brock and I have long enjoyed certain common interests. That's right. Like getting us into trouble. And getting you back out of it again. What? Huh. That's only mostly true. Okay, so does that answer your question? Close enough, I suppose. So, Brock, if Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks. A 
symbol of commitment. After the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. You know, my people used to send me gifts, too. So I wouldn't forget home. But after the birth of my son, they stopped, too. Read that from here. Let's head back and I can take a better look. I thought I'd feel peace by breaking it. But I feel nothing. Perhaps what you see cannot be found in a circlet. You may be right. Ceremony. A symbol of reconciliation. We drank from the lover's chalice until we could hardly stand. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freyr. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd need. And I believed him. is complete, but I still can't read it from here. Let's head back down. Better now? No. The pain only grows. <sighs> Will I never be free of it? What more do I need to do? The runic word appeared over there. See it? Phew. After all the battles I've fought, why does the other side of this door scare me most? The most difficult battles are fought within, but this battle, you will not fight alone. Final tie to Asgard. We drove that sword into the pillar together. The sword was forged for the ceremony. A symbol of our union. Mm. 
Molna. <laughs> The stone refuses to let go. Mona! The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. My bond to my son. To the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too. The pain he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword... ...no longer holds our legacy. But it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it. Me. Since when have you ever asked for permission? It's just... I owe you my life, such as it is, and I... I caused you so much pain, put you in a terrible situation. For that, Freya, I am truly sorry. I wanted to end that war. I swear to do better by you nonetheless. Anything you ask, please got it done. I'm forever in your debt. I appreciate that. Even if you can't help being an obnoxious know-it-all. I'm afraid I'll never know how to stop doing that, Your Majesty.
So much for that boat. You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I had a confidant. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. Say their markings. We should be careful. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason. He disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise. His name was Primthur. He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now, too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better, and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Aye. Blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way. I can hold on to those damn air friends for you. Well, brother, before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye, but surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Sucker, he owes me one! Fight me now and eternally! Well, looky there! Glad you could make the trip, your goddessness! I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow, but then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I don't rightly know who's yelling at who in there, but I figure they both got it coming. Hello! 
Good to see the chimes working as intended. So, this whole spectral squirrel business, you can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, Nick. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Until we meet again. Hi, right, take the hint. Go away! Talks to squirrels now, huh? Well, come on, man. Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be thrilled. Joint's getting classier by the day. Can it be? I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frigg. Don't call me that. I haven't been that person in a long time. But I'm happy to see you, too. I'd feared the worst for so long, what you must have been through. Nothing so bad as what you've suffered. Freya, I am so, so sorry to hear what happened to Baldur. He was only a boy when I saw him last, but I know he meant more to you than anything. Yes. And to forbear your vengeance in this way, it's, it's truly an inspiration for those of us who believe in peace. The only peace these realms will ever know is once Odin is gone. Believe in that. So you're not here to prevent Ragnarok. You're here to bring it about. I'm here to make sure Odin doesn't hurt anyone the way he hurt us. I can see I've upset you. <sighs> Forgive me. I am far removed from my days of diplomacy. It doesn't matter. Just let it go, okay? But you are gone for two days. 